Hey guys, and Shane here again. I'm back with another food tasting video. I know I've been doing a lot of these lately, uh, but I've just been seeing so many interesting things from different countries. I'm a big fan of traveling and trying different cultural foods, and I just can't help myself. But uh, today, I went by my local uh, Asian store and picked up quite a few uh, interesting items, uh, some snacks and some candies from the uh, Asian side of the world. Uh, things that look interesting and stuff that I've never tried before, um, or just wanted to kind of try out. Uh, so let's get to it. First, try these cute little things. I just can't have myself. This is called Hello Panda. Uh, if there's a little glare, I'm sorry, but these are basically look like cho little chocolate biscuit things uh, with imprints or little pictures of a panda on them. <laughs> kind of like puffs, yeah. Uh, Mmm, the chocolate inside. Tastes like a Chips Ahoy cookie, the flavor of it. They're really good. And they're cute. If you can give them to your kids, maybe the kids might like them. Got little pictures of pandas on them and stuff. Cute packaging. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, some of this Asian stuff's got me a little bit worried because it's uh, really strange. I've never tried some of these flavors before, but I'm, like I said, I'm down for new things. Next, these look really interesting. Okay, so these are called custard cake. Well, most of the writing in here is in um, Asian. Not sure what type of Asian writing it is. It looks uh, Thailand, so I guess it's Thai. So a lot of the writing on here is Thai, uh, but the English on here that says custard cakes. So pretty self-explanatory. It looks like some kind of a bun cake with some kind of uh, vanilla, lo vanilla looking custard on the inside. The guy at the register said they were really good, so try them out. Open it up. Sponge cake, like a Twinkie kind of cake. I bust it open on the inside. All right, not a whole lot of custard on the inside, but there's a little ball of custard. You can't really tell, but it's right here. It smells kind of like coconut. Mmm, it's really good. It tastes like a Twinkie, only a little bit more dense. So it's, it's just like a Twinkie kind of cake. The custard inside is not the traditional white cream like you'd have in an American Twinkie. Uh, it's kind of like a vanilla, almost rum flavored even, kind of a custard. Uh, but it is really good. Maybe a little coconut flavor in it. Something. I'm not sure what it is, but it's good. A little more dense than a Twinkie. Not as light and not as greasy. It does have some greasiness to it, but it's not as greasy. But it's really good. I like it. Mmm. It's like a sponge cake. It's really good. Um, next let's try this. Okay, so this is one of the things that's got me a little bit worried. So it's a plastic, nice container. It didn't cost much at all. It's like a dollar or something. But they are preserved plums. Again, it has nothing but Asian writing on it. Let's see if I can figure out where it's from. Um, made in Taiwan. So I assume it's uh, Chinese writing on the outside. Don't hate me if I'm getting it wrong. I can't read Chinese or anything like that, so... Uh, preserved plums, so I don't know if they're salty, if they're sweet, if I'm supposed to hydrate them, if I just eat them like this, but I'm just going to pop it in my mouth. You see it's like a nice little plastic jar full of these little preserved, hard, they're hard. Oh, oh, mmm, yeah, oh. I do not like these, no. Alright, so preserved plums. I can tell you exactly what it tastes like. I bit into it, it was hard. There was like a seed in it, but it was kind of, you could chew the outside off of it. At first it was a little bit sweet. I was like, okay, not too bad, a little sweet. But then immediately, pow, punching me in the face. Pow, 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 punching me in my tongue. Pow. Pa, pa. Salt. Just plain up salt. Like I just poured salt in my mouth and decided to chew it. I was just chewing salt. Got even juicier and juicier with my spit. Oh, it's just a big old blob of nasty saltness in my mouth. And I just couldn't tell you anymore. My tongue is burning. And I still got salt taste. And I got nastiness on my table here. It's like orange. Ooh. Not good. <laughs> Ugh. No. Preserved plums. I assume you're supposed to put them in something. I don't know. If you know what you do with these, 
Because I can't see anybody just chewing on these. If you know what you're supposed to do with them, let me know. Put them down in the comments, let me know. Um, but I didn't like it. Ugh. Next. Uh, so this is ginger candy. Ting Ting J. Made in Indonesia. Individually foil wrapped for preserving the freshness. Alright, so ginger candies. Try it out, this can't be too bad. I like ginger. Oh, they're, uh, they're soft and chewy. A little bit spicy. You definitely taste the ginger. It's really chewy. It's like a gummy, but it's hard. It's stiffer than a regular guy, like a gummy bear or something. Flavor's not bad. It's light, but it is a spicy. It's kind of burning my tongue and like spiciness from the ginger. But I like it. I couldn't see myself like sitting here and eating a bag of them. But every now and then, yeah, maybe cleanse my palate or something, maybe. They're not bad. Really chewy. Spicy. Woo! So this is... I don't know. It's got a picture of some kind of a spiky, hairy looking fruit that's split open. Looks almost like a vagina. With seeds in the middle. The seeds look almost like chestnuts. I don't know if this is what it's supposed to be, but Kasugai. So it's a Japanese product, so Japanese writing. If anybody knows what this is, please leave a comment down below and let me know. Uh, I'm gonna try it out. I'm not sure what this fruit or seed or whatever it is is, but it's supposed to be some kind of candy, so check it out. Doesn't stink. Not much of a flavor. Really, really faint flavor. Tastes almost like a cereal. Oh, is this supposed to be hazelnut? I can't tell what it is. Please, somebody let me know what this is. It's not bad. It's not good. It kind of tastes like I'm sucking on cereal flavored candy. So yeah, it tastes like cereal. I'm gonna stop. Like I said, it's not horrible. It's not bad. I just don't, uh, I don't know what to think of it. I don't know what to make of it. My taste buds are like, what are you doing? Hmm. Please, somebody let me know. Moving on. Next. Ooh, this should be fun. So shrimp chips. And they're baked. So hey, a little bit uh, lighter calorie, baby. Uh, wheat puff snacks. So shrimp flavored wheat snacks. So I guess think, uh, think. Ugh. <laughs> Smells like cat food. <laughs> I don't know why anybody would purposely like be like, mmm, I really want some of those shrimp chips. Whew, I'm gonna try them. Oh no, I know what it tastes, smells like. Ugh, have you ever, anybody have fish? You ever open up the fish food and just give it a good whiff? That's what it smells like. Ugh. Huh. Not really that bad at all. I could eat these. Again, like, I wouldn't be craving them. I wouldn't be like, man, I gotta go to the Asian store and give me some shrimp chips. But they're not bad. They're salty, they're crunchy, which is really fun. Really, really faint flavor of shrimp. Kind of like an aftertaste you get when you're eating sushi. Um, yeah, not bad. I like it. I can eat them. Hmm, not too bad. Next! All right, so these look fun. I got these. These are like little individual cakes. They're different kinds. There's no English anywhere on here. The ingredient says uh, does say something about white kidney and red bean paste, sugar and flour and eggs and all that kind of stuff, but it doesn't say actually what it is. The guy at the register he told me that it was mung beans, white beans, and red beans. So bust it open. I don't have my uh, too high of hopes for this, but. We'll see, we'll try it out. They're neat, there's kind of sponge cakes and candy looking things. So let's try this one. It's definitely some kind of a cake on the outside. Looks like a looks like a toasted bun, like a dinner roll. Like a little mini dinner roll. And it is like a roll, like a cake. This is green, so I assume this is if I if I believe the store guy, the store clerk, the mung bean one. It's good. I don't taste beans. 
It's sweet. Cake on the outside. Really dry. But it's good. There's another one like that. I assume it's one of the other bean flavors. I'm gonna skip it and try this one. This one must be some red bean paste because it's red. Same kind of cake on the outside, but it's sliced to a pretty little square so you can show off the red bean paste. Doesn't stink. A little different texture than the other one. This one's more pasty, which I don't care for. But the flavor's not bad. Again, it tastes, it all tastes like really, tastes kind of like jam, but with like no sugar in it. Like really low sugar jam. It still has some sweetness, but um, it's not super sweet. It's not super full of flavor of anything. Definitely doesn't taste like beans, like I said, but it's not bad. This is another one. Again, it looks like one of these cakes, so I'm going to skip that. probably the white bean one. I'm going to try one of these. So this is a blonde, spongy, crystally looking square. I didn't smell like anything. It's like crusted on the outside with sugar or some kind of crystals. You see that? Kind of lemon flavor. Tastes like lemon. Again, it's like a really, I don't like it. It's not the flavor, the flavor again, it's not bad, but the texture. It's like a, uh, like a jujube. Like we have those gummies, those gummy candies, the jujubes. It's like that, only slightly softer. I just don't like the texture of it. All this was really light, sweet flavor, it wasn't overpoweringly so. I uh, had a, Whatever this bean paste was, it didn't taste like beans. It was good, it was a little sweetness. Um, it wasn't bad. I didn't care for the texture of some of these, but the little cake ones were good. I like. Probably wouldn't eat them again, just because, I, like I said, I didn't really care for them. All right, so this next, this is a tamarind candy. So again, if you've watched any of my other videos, like the Mexican candy tasting video, uh, try uh, tamarind candy, uh, Mexican style, which usually adds a lot of hot chili powder and stuff in it. This one doesn't have any chili in the in the ingredients, it just says sugar and salt and tamarind. Which, um, I grew up in Virgin Islands, so I'm used to eating tamarind candy. Uh, we didn't call it tamarind candy, we call it tamarind balls, but it's made out of tamarind and sugar. And so we'll check it out. These are actually little tiny tamarind balls, so we'll see. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this. Huh. Not bad. Better than the Mexican one, but not the same as the island. Ooh, no. There's salt in this one. And I was thinking they're just gonna put a little bit of salt, just kinda accentuate the sweetness of the sugar and the fruit. But they put a lot of salt, so I could definitely taste the salt. So it was more salty than sweet, which I didn't care for. Um, but, if you wanna try tamarind at home, if you're in any kinda western states, California, Texas, I know a lot of times Walmart might even carry it, some tamarind. Um, it's like a brown turd looking bean pod looking thing. Bust them open, uh, pick some of the seeds out if you like, or leave the seeds in, kind of mash them all up and roll them around the sugar. Let them soak the sugar up. Roll them around the sugar again, let it soak it up. Roll it around again, let it soak it up, and just pick it off and eat it. It's good, it's really good. Leave out the salt, leave out the chili powder, uh, and you'll like it, trust me. Again, this is all right, but uh, too much salt. Next. All right, so this is so kind of exciting. This is durian candy. So if you guys ever seen like the BuzzFeed video or if you just know about it, uh, durian is this big spiky fruit, which evidently smells horrible, but tastes really good. So like a lot of places, even in like Singapore, it's, it's illegal to cut a fruit inside of a lot of you know, restaurants or places like that because it stinks so bad. Uh, but it, people say it tastes really good. So this is durian candy. So hopefully it doesn't smell bad. Uh, I'm gonna try it. See if it tastes good. Ooh. All right. Already, look, I just went and the immediate smell of the poof of air from inside that bag stunk bad. Ugh. I don't even know how to describe it. It just smells like garbage. So already, I'm worried about this one. I was thinking, hey, you know candy, it's not gonna stink, I'm not gonna worry about picking at the fruit, cutting a big ass fruit, nothing like that. Ugh, this smells like garbage. So let's see, I'll put one of these out, it's a hard candy, individually wrapped, 
yet the smell still permeated out throughout the bag. Ugh. Stinks. Again, it just smells kind of like garbage. It looks like a little hard caramel. No. I don't know. No. Nasty. Alright, so definitely smells bad and definitely tastes like shit. Uh, at first it wasn't super horrible, it had a faint smell like the garbage smell from the bag, but it was hard and I was sucking on it and I wasn't really getting a lot of flavor. So I bit into it and as soon as I bit into it, it just, poof, just a, a nasty, rotten, garbage smell just permeated in my mouth and it made me gag and it was ugh, nasty. It reminded me of the stinky sock jelly bean. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put the link down below. Check out my jelly bean, bean boozle challenge stuff. The stinky sock jelly bean tastes like durian candy. Everybody said the durian is supposed to taste good, it just stinks really bad. Well, I'm going to tell you, it doesn't taste good either. It tastes just like it smells. I guess. Alright, next. My last one. I should have saved this for last now. I was thinking the durian candy was going to be good, but this is now my last one. And I'm thinking this is probably not going to be good either. Uh, it's Saki Ika. Prepared squid. Alright, so I like squid, uh, fried, you know, calamari, stuff like that. I eat it, it's good. Uh, I've never had a dried, kind of preserved looking squid. It looks kind of like rope. Let's check it out. Oh, not good smell. I'll try it though. It's not bad. It's just strange. It definitely tastes like dried squid. It's like squid beef jerky or, or like fish jerky. It's really chewy, really dry until your spit starts soaking into it. Not a horrible flavor. It's actually kind of sweet, which is weird. So it's like a sweet, chewy fish jerky. If you get what I mean. I don't like it, but I don't dislike it. So. I don't know, but I don't care for it. It's not something I really would be like picking up at the store because I gotta have some fish jerky. But I don't know. That's it. That's all I got for the Asian snacks right now, guys. Uh, if there's anything that you know that you think I should try or that you think I'd like, leave a comment down below. Let me know and I'll pick it up maybe if I can find it. Um, overall, I think my favorite one was, <laughs> well, the, pa the panda cookies because it tastes like chocolate chip cookies. And, um,. Yeah, probably these cakes, these custard cakes, like the guy said, they're really good. Kind of like a, kind of like a Twinkie, like an Asian Twinkie, I guess. Overall, I wouldn't probably like buy any of these on purpose because I really wanted them. Other than maybe these things, these are good. I'd get these again. Um, but yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think or something else that maybe I should try sometime. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And until next time.